Hey, I'm Brianna, and today I'm excited to show you how I transformed my backyard from a blank space into a cozy outdoor family room. I knew that I wanted to add a fire pit, so what I did was measure out a four foot circle and had my girls help me dig out all of the sod and remove it. This was a huge time saver because doing it myself would have been a lot. Then I just flattened out the bottom with the back of a shovel. I went and I grabbed some chipped marble pieces from my local garden center and just dumped them into the bottom. Now it's time to get some rocks to build this fire pit. I knew we had a bunch of field stone hanging around my yard. So me and my girls, again, we just kind of found a bunch of big rocks to use as a ring around this fire pit. Some of these rocks were pretty heavy, so I made sure that I was taking the larger ones and helping them load them into the tractor. Then it was time for us to just ring this pit with the rocks. We started with the big ones just to kind of anchor our circle and we filled in with the little pieces. This part was really fun. Honestly, this came out even better than I imagined it in my head. Plus, it was using almost all free materials and the rock from the store I think was maybe $28. My daughter had the sweet idea to write some positive affirmations on the sides of some of the bigger rocks. I knew that we would need a side table and luckily I have had this one for, oh gosh, a decade maybe, and it is really beat up. So all I did was sand the finish off with a basic orbital sander, and then I sealed it with some outdoor water seal spray and it looked better than new. You could really see that wood grain and I just, I really like how this came out. I had a few of these glass yogurt cups that I wanted to upcycle into sort of a cool craft. So what I did is I mixed some Mod Podge with different colors of acrylic paint to sort of get the colors of sea glass beads. Then I just dabbed it onto the side of the glass containers with these sponge daubers. Um, and this really added a really nice texture to them and gave that kind of sea glass look. Then I just baked them in the oven for a bit. And after they were dry, I took some chalk, rubbed them all over the surface to give them that sort of matte, dusty finish. And these make the cutest tea light holders. I was so excited to include a few contemporary pieces from Longer Burger in this backyard flip. For the seating, I selected four gorgeous modern Adirondack chairs. They came together really easily with the tools that were included in the box, maybe 20 minutes each. These are so perfect for my outdoor space because the classic chair feels really at home in like a rural New England backyard, but the modern clean lines are a really surprising contrast and they add this amazing level of design to the space. Plus I love how the dark slate color pops against all that weathered wood and the green grass. I enjoyed a nice cold glass of Sauvignon Blanc while I styled up this space. So it was really just about adding those little touches, like these really soft and cozy throws, adding those tea light holders that I made from the yogurt jars, adding a few more lanterns for some golden glow. Of course, we need a s'mores station, so let's just add some of those to the plate. Of course, my kids were just as excited for the outdoor s'mores station as they were for the rest of the space. But who can blame them? S'mores are amazing. I am absolutely thrilled with how this backyard space came together. I have been dreaming about creating this since we moved in five years ago and watching my kids enjoying roasting marshmallows over a backyard campfire, spending time with the dogs and just some like nice family evenings together is just a dream come true. I hope this inspired you to tackle a similar project because it doesn't have to take a lot of money, just a little elbow grease and 48 hours. <laughs>